Hey, it's Trey Monet back to y'all with another video. Today's video is super, super, super exciting as always. In today's video, we are going to be talking about thought wars. And this is going to be a rant. First of all, let's just let's just hop right on in. More followers does not always equal more sales. I'm going to say that again. More followers does not always equal more sales, you guys. Oftentimes, we equate followers to buying customers, and we think just because someone or a brand has a lot of followers that they oftentimes get a lot of sales or they, you know, make a lot of money, and that is completely false. I am here to tell you. It is completely false. So literally, one of my number one asked questions in my DMs, literally in during my coaching sessions, is always, Troya, how do I increase my followers? And my reply back to them is, what are you doing to increase the engagement with the followers that you already have? What are you doing to build the relationships with the followers you already have? And then I'll be able to better tell you how you can increase your overall following and get new followers. So I'm just here to tell you, you guys, make sure you use what you already have. And we're going to get into that a little bit later. So first things first, having a large unengaged following does nothing for your business's growth at all. Whereas if you have a, like a loyal, engaged audience and it's a small audience, that's going to do a ton for your brand. Smaller brands tend to build more engagement than much larger brands. And you guys want to think about that as well. So for example, this is a really great example. Um, an influencer, this happened like a couple of years ago, an influencer by the name of Ariana Renee. She had over 2.6 million followers on Instagram. 2.6 million followers on Instagram, right? She launched a t-shirt business and she couldn't sell 36 t-shirts. Y'all probably think I'm lying. I'm going to put it on the screen. I'm going to put a link in the description to the article as well from Business Insider. She literally could not sell 36 shirts. So she was tasked with selling 36 shirts in order to continue working with the manufacturing company for her t-shirt line. She couldn't even sell 36 shirts in order to continue that relationship working with that manufacturing company. That is really, really sad. And that's prime example as to followers not equating up to buying customers. So there are several things that we can take away from, you know, her experience and her story. You have to create a, high, a highly anticipated launch. You cannot expect to just say, hey, guys, I just started my boutique and launched today. Go through and support. She had 2.6 million followers and couldn't sell 36 shirts. A lot of us have under 5,000, maybe not even 5,000. You probably have like 2,000, 2, maybe 1,000 followers. A lot of us have much smaller followings, right? She had 2.6 million followers and she could not sell 36 shirts, you guys. Insane. You have to build that highly anticipated launch. Customers want to be excited about your brand. You have to get them riled up for it. Warm your audience up um, when it comes to the launching of your brand. And I'm going to do a lot more videos on that later on down the line as to, you know, how to build a highly anticipated launch. Another takeaway that we can take away from her store, another thing we can take away from her story rather, is you have to create and position your product to stand out against the others. There's a thousand and one t-shirt brands out there, just like there's a thousand and one boutiques out there. So if we are, you know, if there's a, if there's a thousand boutiques out there and we're all selling the same thing, how are we standing out amongst each other? There's 10,000 plus t-shirt brands out there. She has to, you know, you have to make sure that you're standing out amongst your competition, you guys. There are competitors and you want to make sure that your customers know to support you other than your competition. You also cannot rely heavily on the people you know to make sales. Let's repeat that. You cannot rely heavily on the people you know to make sales. I think I want to say it one more time. You cannot rely heavily on the people you know to make sales. Oftentimes, I get a lot of people who say my family and friends aren't supporting me. Your family and friends aren't your target audience, sis. I'm sorry to break it to you. I don't know who need to hear it. Your target audience is not your family and friends. We cannot get disappointed when our family and friends don't support us. To be completely honest with you guys, I think I've only had like one or two family members ever purchase something from my site. One or two. I have a huge family huge and i'm not disappointed because i know the things that i offer with on my site aren't things that appeal to them we can't get upset 
Whereas, you know, if your target audience is co in line with a lot of your family, friends, and your family members and friends, then you might have another problem on your hands there. But we cannot rely heavily on the people we know to make sales. Just like Ariana in that example, she relied heavily on her followers in order to make sales. We can't do that, you guys. You cannot do that. You want to make sure that you are promoting on all channels. She only promoted really on her Instagram page, and I think she only posted like twice. You want to make sure that you are promoting, overly promoting. You want to make sure that you are, you know, creating great content. She had no content that related to the creation or the process behind establishing the brand. She had no brand personality, no emotion. You want to make sure that you create a brand identity. You want to make sure you're doing these things. So this is literally prime example that just because you have a large following does not mean it's going to equate to sales, you guys. Please, please, please realize that as well. So you have to commit to creating high engaging content, high quality content. You want to develop those relationships with the customers you already have. Nourish those relationships with the customers you already have. What, did you ever, you know, follow up with a customer who shopped with you and who spent, you know, X, Y, and Z amount of dollars with you on your launch today? Follow up with your customers. You guys should be sending welcome DMs to people who are just following you on social media. So if I get a new follower, I might go through and send her a DM, say, hey girl, hey, my name is Troy Monet. I am the owner of Wanted Wardrobe Boutique. Um, let me know if you have any questions about our inventory. Happy to go through and, you know, answer any questions that you might have. You know what? Here's a 10% off discount code. Thank you so much. Use code WELCOME at checkout. Create those engaging, um, you know, relationships with the followers that you already have. People within your comment section. Make sure you're responding to people's comments. Make sure you're liking people's comments. That goes a really, really long way. So if I, you know, get a DM from a company and, you know, she sent me a welcome message, sent me a discount code. More than likely, if I use it or if I'm like, wow, if I'm impressed, I might go through and spread the word about her company. I might market for her. Word of mouth marketing is really, really powerful, you guys. So you want to make sure that you're creating those relationships with the customers you already have. It's easier to get a um, return customer because that trust is already there than to get a new customer. So you want to make sure you're doing that. The more you focus on your followers, you guys, the more you're going to shy away from creating engaging content. In creating effective content so the more you try to go through and like do all of these different tactics in order to build your following the more that you're going to shy away from creating content that truly engages and truly goes through and you know reaches out to your target audience as a whole so you want to make sure that you think about that and while we're here let's talk about it do not purchase followers you guys that is one of the worst things that you can do for your analytics one of the worst things you can do for your insights one of the worst things that you can do for your data is purchasing followers, you guys. Never purchase followers ever, ever, ever is. Not that serious at all. Make sure you don't purchase followers. That's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. Also, there's a ton of things that you guys should be focusing on besides getting followers. And you want to make sure that you build your um, following organically. So here is like, you know, a, a tip. Go through and create engaging, shareable content. So think about it this way. If your daughter or son asked you, mommy, can I get some more toys? And you told him, you don't even play with the toys that you have. Why would I buy you more toys? A lot of us don't engage with the audience we already have. So why should we deserve more followers? Drops mic. <laughs> so you guys want to make sure that you are building the relationship with the followers you already have. There's already you know a relationship there continue to build that relationship the followers will come it's easier to get those return people than it is to go through and try to gravitate to get more they will market for you trust me while people are at dinner oh my gosh girl where you got that shirt oh i got this from such and such boutique she got amazing customer service she checks up on you she goes through and maybe send you a little discount code here and there she always makes sure her people are well taken care of all of that good stuff as well. Build those relationships with the customers you already have and it will go such a long way, you guys. So hopefully this was helpful for you. More followers does not always equal more sales, you guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it down below in the description box. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.